For the first time in F1 history, the opening race of the season for the world's premier motorsport revolved around the romantic relationship of a team principal and his wife. We are not aware that even His Excellency, the dishonorable Toto Wolf, and his first lady, Susie, ever attracted this type of attention, except of course, after Sir Lewis was robbed of his eighth title. Somehow, the F1 show about cars and drivers has evolved into a romantic show about the Red Bull racing team principal, Christian Horner, and his lovely wife and former Spice Girl, Jerry. With his recent outburst, it appears that Mr. Verstappen is upset about this bastion of man and machine, transitioning into something from a woman's Mills and Boone's novel, or a hallmark made for television romantic drama, and wants the Horners cancelled. Of course, with Mr. Verstappen's background, which for those who don't know, is featured in a video we did over two years ago, titled, Max Verstappen, Generations of Verstappen Criminal Violence and Assault, it is possible to see why he would be displeased, with the build-up to the race being all about Mr. and Mrs. Horner, kissing, hugging, and holding hands, as the drivers and cars were relegated to the back seat. Some of our viewers have put forward other reasons for Mr. Verstappen's declaration of civil war, and we will go into all of these later on in the video. A lot has transpired since F1 began its transition, so, we think it expedient to provide a brief recap to put everything into context and incorporate all the new information that has been flooding in. We would like to take this opportunity to thank those of you who have provided us with information and leads, such as Gillian Robbins, who alerted us to the information that Christian Horner's accuser has been alleged to be one Fiona Hewittson. As at the time of this video, neither Fiona nor Red Bull have denied this claim. Another viewer, DB Cooper One, has filled us in on her background, and yet another viewer, has provided some very interesting information linking Verstappen to Fiona, and we await further corroboration from anyone who can provide such. We welcome and appreciate your participation. That being said, we would like to invite those of you who haven't yet done so, to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification icon and share this video. By way of a brief summary, sometime in December last year, a woman who has since been alleged to be Christian Horner's executive assistant, Fiona Hewittson, filed a complaint about him with the Austrian Red Bull headquarters. That complaint, which was finally dismissed at the end of February, reportedly included allegations of sexual harassment. As at the time of this video, we are not aware that either of them has left Red Bull employment, so we can't help but wonder what the workplace environment must be like. It appears that Red Bull did not give the complaint any wings, and grounded it for some two months, until its existence was leaked to a Dutch news outlet at the beginning of February. Suddenly the complaint skyrocketed, and became the focus of attention, both within and outside Formula One. On the same day that the news was published, Red Bull announced the appointment of an independent but anonymous council, to investigate the two-month-old allegations. The Red Bull announcement was silent on the sexual harassment element, which the Dutch news outlet promptly highlighted in a follow-up article. Of course, the Dutch angle led to speculation that the Verstappens were behind the leak, and that would appear to have been confirmed by Mr. Verstappens' recent outburst and call for Horner to resign. In a brusque 89-word statement, hoping to draw a line under the matter, three days before the opening race, Red Bull announced the completion of the anonymous independent council's investigation, which dismissed all the allegations made against Mr. Horner. However, with no regard for transparency, Red Bull declined to publish the report and its findings. Predictably, just hours after the announcement was made, a dossier allegedly containing evidence that was submitted in support of the complaint was leaked to the FIA, F1 boss, team principals, F1 media, and Mr. Verstappen. This was widely reported on social media immediately, and print media, the following day. So, guys, why do you think Mr. Verstappen was included in the group of people provided with the dossier? That leaked dossier gave the Horner scandal wings, and ensured that it cast a dominant shadow over the opening race weekend. In a bizarre development worthy of the telenovela, that Liberty Media and Red Bull have turned Formula One into, in the wake of the leaked messages exposing embarrassing evidence of Christian's guilt, Ginger jumped on a private jet to Bahrain, 
in what was widely expected to be a spicy encounter between her and her errant husband. However, in a shocking twist of events, in full glare of the expectant media, the couple engaged in a display of PDA that was both surreal and sickening in equal measure. Now why Mrs. Horner, the ambassador for girl power, would choose to respond in this way, to credible evidence of her husband pestering another woman for sex, while admitting to having been pleasured by her amongst other things, is beyond us. So, we invite you to give your opinions in the comment section. Needless to say, Mr. Verstappen, the pillar of society, and defender of women that he is, appeared to have been deeply unsettled by this turn of events, and post-race, he called for the departure of Christian Horner. This was after, the two had been seen engaging in a heated confrontation during the race weekend. We have also received exclusive information from one viewer, Redlingstein, that Verstappen and Hewitson are in a relationship which Horner had advised her against, and, on further investigation we found other references to this relationship. So guys, it's over to you once again. Has Verstappen Sr. been the one behind the attack on Christian, all along? What is his motivation? His son or his alleged girlfriend? Can Mr. Horner, who needs to be propped up by his wife, stand up to Mr. Verstappen with his history of violence? Who will win the Civil War of the Reds? Please provide your opinion or information in the comments section. Thanks.